there are options other than engineering availability. If, if any of you is good uh, at designing, you can go for uh, architecture. Architecture, I think, I think, is also a very promising career option that you can explore. Then uh, there is no other option when you talk about maths and science. You can again go into research and do the teaching line if anybody of you is interested in that. You can first get your uh, uh, higher education done. Then uh, in, if you are uh, keen on uh, you know, uh, math, uh, math, mathematics itself, uh, then there are research options within uh, this line like maths. There are a uh, few of my friends who are Morning, ma'am. So, what I wanted to ask is, what is your opinion about this culture of competitive exam in India, uh, which creates uh, an environment for students to study which is not really healthy, toxic almost? Because uh, society based in India is for students the highest degree, uh, and very many premier or key colleges to uh, study further more and uh, to pursue higher studies. Uh, we have to give some sort of competitive exam that almost 50 to 20 lakh students are appearing in and the selection rate is almost about 1% or 2%. Uh, so should it be uh, provided with other options to uh, pursue our further studies? Can I question Sure. Sure. So, uh, sure, I also spoke about it that competitive exam culture is uh, getting very stressful. And the, the, the success percentage is very, very low, and that creates a lot of pressure at this age, and it's very, very difficult to manage that sort of stress. Uh, but we need to also understand that every 